Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? (laughs) She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day. This is the Weather Extreme video, the Monday morning edition, Monday, March 11th. I'm James Spann. Wet is the word today, but really after today, it looks like a a rather amazing dry spell for March, which typically is one of the wettest months of the year. Let's check some of the Skycam shots around the network early this morning at the insane hour of 5 a.m. But yeah, my body really knows it's 4 a.m. Back on daylight saving time, this is the uh, Jasper Skycam, and it's raining there. Rain falling at Hamilton. That's the camera at Hamilton High School. And up in the Tennessee Valley, raining in Huntsville. Looks like I see three cars out there on Memorial Parkway. Got a pretty decent trough coming in from the west. It's positive tilt trough. The air is stable, and we have no chance of severe weather, which is a good thing. Anytime a system like that comes through in March, you have to watch them carefully. But, uh, again, very, very high confidence, no severe weather. That was the radar at 5.01 Central Daylight Time. At that point, the rain was approaching Birmingham, and we'll just have rain at times today, maybe a touch of thunder. Now, temperatures uh, out ahead of that rain mass are very mild. Birmingham at 62, but behind the rain mass, it's much colder, 43 at Memphis. And uh, could be a deal where temperatures actually fall today from where they are at uh, at sunrise, which is uh, looks pretty likely, in fact. Uh, we'll probably kind of hover in the 50s much of the day and with numbers slowly falling maybe reaching the 40s up there in uh, northwest Alabama. Got a wind advisory in effect today. Up north, uh, we've got uh, winter storm warnings in effect for parts of Missouri, Iowa, Wisconsin, and Michigan. But generally speaking, pretty quiet around the nation. And here's the rain for the next five days, about an inch. And all of that comes today. After today, it's going to be dry for a while. We'll check the GFS. Now, this is the OZ run. We're back on daylight saving time, so... Uh, that means the weather, pro- weather products are an hour later in local time and have to kind of revert back to the 06 Z run this time of the year. Uh, this valid at noon today, and there's your trough, and down below that, there's the rain. Uh, rain amounts of about one inch are likely with that slow-moving batch of uh, rain coming in here. But tomorrow, the weather will be drier with sunshine returning. Should be a little cooler tomorrow. A high is probably dropping into the 50s. You can see a cold air advection that is clearly going on in the uh, wake of our rain that we're having today in terms of the models. Uh, actually, both the NAM and the GFS are at 60 tomorrow, but uh, Wednesday might be a touch cooler. You can see the cold air advection getting deeper. 1,032 millibar high in Little Rock. Highs dropping into the middle 50s. Pretty good little north breeze there. Thursday, we should be below freezing. I think good chance we'll be in the 20s Thursday morning, but the high will be close to 60. And Friday should be a gorgeous day, sunny with a high close to 70. And I think you'll like the weekend. There's a look at the upper chart on Saturday at noon. Uh, Light northwest flow aloft. The air is dry. The sky will be sunny and the high in the low 70s. And pretty much the same thing on Sunday. We'll call it partly sunny. The GFS is printing a high of 73 Oh, yeah. So if you like this mild weather uh, yesterday and Saturday, you'll like the upcoming weekend. And really a week from today, we stay dry. I mean, you know, that's really amazing to go uh, six, seven days in a row with no rain. In fact, really, you have to go out to the 21st of March to find the next decent rain event on the GFS. March 21st, showing a batch of rain and storms coming in here. Not really a severe weather look. Uh, so t- potential of 10 dry days in a row. That's a long dry spell for March. And really, that's it for the rest of the month. March 26, we're dry as a bone. So the good news, we don't see any significant severe weather events here for the rest of March. And really, after today, just one ma- big rain event. So a nice, quiet pattern. Sounds pretty good. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. And don't forget to catch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream of the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.